hello everyone welcome back to our channel in this video i am going to show you how to set up and configure tomcat server to understand ci cd pipeline uh, we need to uh, deploy our uh, var file for that we need a tomcat server that's why it is necessary to uh, know how to configure tomcat server if you are not aware about tomcat tomcat sorry don't worry, I'm going to give the list of the steps what you need to do on your EC2 instance to configure successful Tomcat server. If you don't understand some of the steps, please bl blindly follow those because every step is necessary, whatever I'm doing this video. And I try to explain little more why I'm doing those steps. So it may be a little lengthy video. Please follow uh, without uh, missing anything in this. Let's jump into uh, the list of the steps what we are going to do for this activity and we'll execute those So these are the steps you need to follow to do this one first thing is launch a Red Hat Linux system Because as I discussed all this stuff is going to happen on uh, Linux environment Next thing you need to install Java. These are the simple steps to install Java. It is quite easy and easy to instance Third step would be the download the Tomcat pa package from the official website. Copy it into some location. Uh, maybe I am assuming that I want to copy it into slash opt. In your case, you can do in any location. Then uh, add uh, below users to your Tomcat minus user.xml file under conf file, sorry, conf directory. And these are necessary. If you don't also blindly follow this. And we need to change the port number. Why? Because uh, by default tomcat uses 8080 as a port number but our uh, jenkins also going to use 8080 so in a single environment it is uh, not a best practice to use a same port uh, for two different applications then we need to uh, restart our tomcat server to make it work apart from this uh, we need to uh, enable our tomcat server to access from outside of the installation server i will just show you that step as well and also i set the soft link to start and start up our service so it could be easy to restart our services as a checkpoint we are going to use the with the http public ip address and port number 8090 you can able to access it these are the steps you need to follow and let's jump into our system and do that one this is my ec2 instance which I have previously launched and the public IP of this instance is this. Let's log into this system by using mobile extern session SSH IP address of your server and load your uh, private key. I have a private key called a DevOps and specify your user. If you don't specify while prompting there, it may ask. It's up to you. I'm giving here for clear understanding so it is allowing me to log into my system and becoming a root now the first thing is i need to install java so m install java minus 1.8 this is the version i'm installing and uh, it will allow me to install or not just uh, i will pause this video until it get installed right now java has been installed just to, to check out java minus version it will give the version right so our java has been installed successfully second thing is you need to install tomcat on this one to install tomcat go to your browser just search for tomcat 8 download it will take you into your official page this is the official page where you can download your tomcat so you can download it in different different formats it is linux server so we'll go with the tab.gz let's copy the link and go to your server here you can just clear and wget is the command to download directly onto your ec2 instance before downloading it let me change the path currently i'm under root i'm switching it to opt currently nothing is there so wget and uh, your url to download okay sorry wget is not installed you can install m install wget minus y this allows you to install wget now try the same command it should be able to download 
that's it now your tomcat has been downloaded you need to untar and unzip it a single command is there tar dot zvxf is a command to untar and unzip and it has been extracted and unzip this is the directory where your tomcat is there just jump into your directory cd apache tomcat directory under this you have some subdirectories first thing is to access your default uh, tomcat web page you need to start your services the to start your service under bin directory there are two files that is sorry to a file called startup.sh it is yep startup.sh and to shut down your services there is a shutdown.sh as of now we haven't started our services just to, to check out ps minus f grep tomcat if you see nothing is running let's go and see the permissions on our startup.sh so there is no full permission to execute this one so as a simple one we are going to ch mode nothing but we are changing the permissions of startup.sh script so it will allow everyone to start the service similar way i'm going to do for shutdown.sh also so all users can able to execute this script now if you see if you want to start your service or stop your service you need to come to this location nothing but slash opt apache tomcat location then bin then only you need to execute like dot slash startup dot sh this is going to start your service so instead of this one you can create a soft link with the path which is available before creating yeah let's create the soft link for that one know the current path of your system so there is a path called usr local bin what i will do i will set up it to usr local bin location so ln linked file and it is a soft link and this location there is a file called startup.sh link this one with the slash usr local bin and i'm going to create a file called tomcat up so instead of coming to this location and running this command you can just go with the tomcat up command so it will by default path has been set it is going to allow you to do that activity similar way you can do what do for the shutdown.sh file tomcat down i'm going to give so now what we'll do we will just run the tomcat up it is going to start our service let's see ps minus ef grep tomcat and uh, it is running right now now it is running on default port the default port is 8080 let's go and see in our browser so this is the public ip of my system and uh, 8080 yep one more step which i need to do is it is an ec2 instance this is the ec2 instance by default we have allowed only port number 80 on the security group in the security group if you go we have allowed only sorry port number 22 we have allowed addition to port number 22 we need to add port number 8080 okay i have added good to know that let's go and uh, browse it it should be able to give the default apache web page now i don't want to run my service on 8080 i want to run it on 8090 for that you just go back to your system and go back to our tomcat directory under this one there is a file called sorry directory called conf go to conf directory under conf directory there is a file called server.xml in this file this port has been defined if you come down there is a yeah you can see here connector port it has been specified to 8080 that's why you could able to connect on 8080 but i want to change it to 8090 so 
wherever you have 8080 you can change it to 8090 and here also if you need you can change but it is commented out this is how the comment will start and this is how comment will end right so even though you change it doesn't make any difference so i have changed port number 8090 now you need to restart the service to restart first stop the service tomcat down is the command to shut down your service ps minus cf grep tomcat this time it should not run now tomcat up is the command to start the service now i have restarted it and if i go and refresh this space now it won't work because we have changed port number 8080 to 8090 but you have changed it you need to open this port in your security group level otherwise it won't work let's go back again and edit instead of 8080 i want to change it to 8090 and any location and save it from any location i want to access it let me refresh it now 8090 you could able to see this all right now i have changed my default port to port from 8080 to 8090 next thing is to login manage app or something if you want to do you can see here by default the manager is only accessible from the browser running on the same mission but we are running this browser outside of our mission for that what they are advising you will need to edit the manager managers context.xml under that one you need to edit and comment out the default ip address for that just copy this one and uh, if you are not aware there is a command called find slash minus name and if you give the file name it will give the list of the locations usually it would be under web apps so this are the three locations where you can find this one so i am going to edit it and there is a value class name here you need to comment out as i said to comment you need to start with less than escalate remark minus minus and uh, till here and to close i have closed it same thing you need to do for another file which is there under web apps okay come to value field here comment started so this value i am commenting it out and comment end right once you have done you need to restart your tomcat service see here tomcat up due to the link file i need not to go to that uh, bin directory every time tomcat down and tomcat up okay it is quite easy for us to manage so i have restarted our service now let's go back and uh, connect it now this time it should ask for the username and password now we don't have any users so to create users again go back to your server under the conf location itself there is a file called tomcat users.xml in this file you need to add your users and uh, with roles i'm sorry users with roles so i have your default users and roles i'm going to uh, give those users and roles in the description of this video you can use same for your uh, tomcat setup just quickly let me grab those so i have grabbed the users and go back to end of your page okay top to your tomcat users you need to keep your uh, in between tomcat users it is started over here it is ended over here in between you need to copy so here i am going to copy our users sorry i i need to copy it again so just copying the users so these are the users i just copied there are some roles and also users if you see here there are different kind of roles that is manager gui nothing but graphical user interface if you want to log in you need to use the manager gui manager script jmx status different different and if you see the users also there is a admin user deployer user tomcat user and if you see tomcat user he is a manager gui 
manage your GUI nothing but you can log in from the GUI from here and the script if you see manager script you can execute from the other server some scripts you can execute to, to copy that is the difference so here I have added these users and copy sorry saved it let's uh, restart our tomcat server tomcat down and uh, tomcat up so i have restarted let's go and refresh and uh, we'll try to log in from the browser because we have added a user right with that user so tomcat users xml so this is the user we have added for yeah manager row sorry manager gui tomcat user we have added we should able to log in with this user over here so let's refresh and manager and username is tomcat and password would be this is the password once you have provided you could able to log in okay some issue let's wait for a while because to reflect this it will take little bit of time just to double confirm i have restarted the services again okay still sorry guys uh, seems while copying uh, some special characters has been added to my uh, tomcat uh, users file so now i could able to log in with the tomcat user this is how you can set up the Tomcat and uh, keep it ready and we'll proceed uh, with our uh, in next video we are going to see how we can set up our CICD environment. Thanks for watching this video and see you in next video.